Hello fans and welcome back to another video with me Ruku on beers that I like. This one is, this is, um, well, I smell Trappist double and this comes in at a, a respectable 7%. What I like about this beer is two things, it's brewed by monks, it's basically only kept to the walls of the abbey where the monks live and all of the money when you buy this bottle uh, funds their living and obviously their brewing so basically what you're doing in every bottle you buy in this you are in a sense recycling money to help these monks carry on brewing such a fantastic beer and for the, the little bit that doesn't quite make it to the monks they actually donate to charity so again it's a worthy cause for a worthy beer so in my eyes what a better way to start having an excuse to drink than to say to people well actually i'm doing my bit because i'm while i'm drinking this and getting smashed i'm actually donating to charity as well so you're doing good you're doing your liver bad your, your liver's going to hate you for it but actually you're doing good to the good people out there so well done if you drink this i really really like the the flavor that this this brings it's it's fruity it's warming and um to me the the fruit that you do get obviously you have to store this at the right temperature it has to be sort of quite warmish and i know it sounds weird again we've discussed this on previous videos but it kind of i don't know it has to be at that warm temperature to really appreciate that flavor and the the, the fruits that come through really do work over time not only that but you've got a good head and the head is light and foamy so it really does do justice on both ends of, of the, the, the palette. It works really well. Mm. Absolutely love this beer. Really, really decent beer. And to be honest with you, you know, I don't drink enough of it, but as you can see there, just to come, I don't really drink enough of this, and I really should. I'm, I'm a bit guilty of not doing it, um, purely because... I always tend to gravitate towards the same style of beer. Um, I know on these videos I do, you know, test different beers from around the world, just for you fans, of course. And it has been a, a passion of mine for a while now. Um, you know, I do love love beer. You know, I'm a beer man um, through and through. There's not a lot I don't know about beer, um, except for some pronunciations and uh, obviously certain types of beer where they're perhaps brewed and what the history is. I'm not a history buff, as it were. I don't know everything about history. In actual fact, I'm really shit at history. But to me, this beer just keeps calling me back. It's one of those beers that, you know, <coughs> is meant for indulgence. You can't go too mad with it. You have to really appreciate the flavour, the taste. And you have to have it on like a long, slow day. So when you're trying to chill and you're, you're in good company, maybe you've got a nice fire going, or you know, you've got your heating going, nice winter warmer, you know, you want to be somewhere on the sofa, chilling, maybe watching some sports or whatever, or maybe you're with your, your other half and uh, you want to just snuggle. That's an excuse for all the ladies now to go and grab their men. Come on, let's go on the sofa and snuggle. Um... By all means, do it, ladies, because, you know, if a man doesn't appreciate this, then there's something wrong with him. And also, he should value your time, too. But for me, it's just a cracking beer that's got full flavour, full body. It does good um, to the monks. It does well to charities that this gets donated to, or a percentage gets donated to. Um, but it doesn't do your liver any good, because being 7% is moorish, and you can just drink, drink, drink. So to sum it up, it does charities good, but does your liver bad. The hell, I drink to charity. If someone sponsored me and said, okay, Ruku, let's see how many beers you can drink for every beer you drink, we'll pay you X, Y, and Z, I would do it, definitely. Um, you know, I, I believe in, in good causes, but mostly I believe in a good beer. So for me, this is a real win-win situation. Meant for indulging, meant for relaxing, full of flavour, brewed by monks. 
love it. Really do love it. Join me on the next video, fans, and I'll be doing uh, another beer that I like. Hopefully, as good as this, good as this one here. Thanks for watching. To me, I had to include this in my favourite beers of all time because Duvel was where it really all began. Way back in 2007, um, I've already told this story, but way back in 2007, I discovered a big, big bowl of this, and it was called. We, at the time, me and my friends, we, we didn't realise what Duvel was. We thought it was a German beer. How wrong was we? Got halfway down this 750ml bottle, 8.5%, and we were fucked. Never drunk anything like it, and it wasn't, you know, something that we'd normally pick up. And ever since that day, I've always loved Duvel. I've always drunk it, and I always will, till probably the day I die. I just love this beer. Brewed by the Moorgate family, they've done a fantastic job. Passed on generation to generation. Same old recipe, same old glass. Can't beat tradition. I love it because it takes on two different personalities, and not only that, but the head is always decent, the head is always thick. Um, it's just a fantastic beer. To me, it's my ideal beer, or one of the ideal beers out there. Reason being because you've got the strength is 8.5. It doesn't taste strong, number one. You know, you can get pretty pissed on this, but you don't get so much of a nasty hangover, number two. And also, I just love the foamy head, number three. And finally, number four, is the fact that you can remix it, which I'll just show you in a little bit. But for me, Duvel has always been a part of my life. It's They class it as an ale, but uh, to me it's more of a beer. It tastes like an ale-ish, depending on what way you look at it. Mm. Tastes very different to most beers I've had, but... I've had some fun times on Duvel, and it is arguably one of my favourite beers of all time. Although Duvel have also released Duvel Triple Hop, I would avoid it because it's too hoppy, it's dry, and it doesn't taste like the old Duvel I know and love. So therefore I'd avoid that, but I do love normal Duvel. It's, I don't know, it's just a beer and a half, and... The word Duvel translates to devil as well from Flemish. Because Mr. Morgate or Grandad Morgate or even great 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 Grandad Morgate, whatever way you want to look at it, when he produced it, his friend said, that's a devil of a beer. And it stuck. And I'm just remixing this now because I want to show you just what really can happen with this. Just uh, give me two seconds, fans. This is what happens when you remix. Can we see the colour difference? Slightly darker, lighter. Light, completely cloudy. Just another reason why I love Duvel, and that is because you can do this, you can remix the sediment, and it's this remixing that has made me an absolute addict on this stuff, and I will drink it purely for this, and it tastes so much different with it remixed. So you've got this beer that is different, almost sharper ale-ish, this is slightly sweeter and takes a twang off the edge. But I wouldn't drink it any other way. I'm addicted to remixing it. Why can you remix this so well? Well, it's because of the yeast in it. You can actually remix the sediment, and that is basically rebrewing it again and again and again. So you can almost, if you don't like the original taste of Duvel, you can do what I do and remix it and, and try that, and it's a little bit more, in my eyes, nicer.
I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with normal Duvel, but I do prefer the remixing. At 8.5%, it's just decent strength. The glass is, is in my eyes, good. It's nice to hold. Just an all-round decent beer. And as I've said it again, I'm going to say it again. I will drink it till the day I die. I really would. Mm. Just so much better. Duvel, I've also tested my limits on, just like Chimay. Um, I can't even remember what my record is. It's more than Chimay. I've drunk more than Chimay. I think I drank about 10 of these. Um, and I did actually get a hangover. I got dry mouth. I got a full bloated stomach. I didn't eat for a number of hours. I was extremely sluggish. I didn't get a headache though, but I got every other symptom of a hangover and I just felt like crap and it took me a long, long while to become human again. But despite all this, it, no matter what you say or do, will never ever put me off of this. This is one of my all-time favourite beers. I can't fault it. I really can't. You know, I just love everything about it. The soapy head, the fact you can remix it. The different tastes between non and remixed it's just amazing absolutely amazing and it all started in 2007 when i purchased the big corked version of this um i think i remember rightly it was only five pounds um which is insane because now you can pick the bigger one up for about uh i think it's about six and a half quid to about eight pound it's getting quite expensive um, but back then we, we didn't know what it was and as I say that or should I say this has not only started the reason why I've done all these beer reviews in the past but this is also the very reason why I will not stick to one beer because this has shown me the way it's shown me a world of opportunity of beer and I love every single adventure that I take with beer and it's all because of Duvel so you know, if the Morgate family are watching, which I highly doubt they are, but if they ever do, thanks to you and the Morgate family that um, I've never looked back on drinking beer and I'll always drink Duvel. It has a large place in my heart, so thank you, Morgate family, and anyone that loves Duvel, cheers. Why do I love Devoury so much? Well, to be honest with you, it's simply the taste. But it's not just the taste as in how it, it's delivered with the malts and all the rest of it. It's just how insanely drinkable this actually is. And that is why I love it. That's the only reason why I love it. Apart from it being cheap to buy. Um, it cost me about a pound a can, so... The Polish lager that is extremely cheap and incredibly drinkable when I mean incredibly drinkable I mean like water <sighs> too easy very sweet but too easy to drink that's why I love the valley Welcome back to another one. Um, following the trend, I um, I love the monks, and I just they've never ever produced a shit beer. I don't know why I'm whispering. <laughs> um, monks have never produced a shit beer. They brew, 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 confined to the walls of the abbeys, and they brew like troopers. And a classic example is. I just, if this was real, if this beer was a woman, I would be marrying it very, very soon because this is one of my absolute all time favourite beers. I would even put this beer in my top 10. I love it that much. Uh, I drink it a lot. This needs no introduction in my eyes. This is Chimay Blue. Um, it comes in at a, a cracking 9%. Uh, where are we? I don't even know where it says 9%. Oh yeah, there it is. Can we just see that there? It, says, it should say 9% there. 
Once the camera wants to focus, I don't know if we get it. Ooh, yep. I'm hoping you can see that somewhere. But this is is not the strongest beer that I love drinking. Um, unfortunately, I can't get the strongest beer that I love drinking, but I will give it a shout out, and that is of course Delirium Noel. But this is up there with with some of the favourite beers of mine. Chimay Blue is it's just a cracker, absolute fantastic beer. I, I just can't get enough of the stuff. I'm I'm addicted, if that makes sense. I am absolutely 100% addicted to this stuff. You know the colour. And that black abyss, um, the head is small, it's thin, but on a beer like this, it just works, trust me, it works. Mm. Oh. I've actually gone cold. I have goosebumps. Yeah. That's how much I love this beer. Um, I just to me very similar to the um what did we do last week the west mail trappist um the west mail it's very similar it's it's the whole fruity taste all over again but this this is slightly sweeter so you get a sweet fruit alcohol I don't know why i'm doing that i feel like i'm i should be doing karate got any wood <laughs> This is the this the fruit is the flavour it just keeps me going and the taste buds are just working 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 and it is a bit sweeter than the Trappist one the West Mail Trappist that is the double version um, but to me there's very very subtle differences between the two this to me in my eyes has more of a stronger alcohol taste but it wears off quicker. <laughs> If I burp, a sign of good beer, ladies and gentlemen. And yeah, so the, the, the alcohol dims down quicker than the West Mail. But to me, this is all about the flavour. And then what happens after is just magic. Mm. I love it because of the roasted malt that you get. That sort of roasted feel. And to me... It just works well with the palette, and I just, it's Moorish. I just can't understand how it's addictive, because it is. And I, I spend silly amounts of money on this. I will buy um, about six to maybe seven, eight bottles of this when I'm on a single trip. You know, I will spend silly money. I think these particular little bottles here, I think these cost me like two pound... Um, is it two pounds sixty or two twenty-five, something like that. That's pounds sterling, by the way. Um, so dollars. Pff, I, I wouldn't know what dollars is at the moment because um, I'm aware that the pound is weak due to Brexit. Yay, Brexit! Um, but yeah, you get the idea. I'm spending silly money on this because it tastes good, it looks good, and to be honest with you. I have had my fair share of these in the past. I single-handedly tested how many of these I could drink in one sitting. And I haven't done it for a while. And if I do, I would probably regret it. But back about two, three years ago, I sat there with my girlfriend. And I, I'm still with her, by the way. She's, she's still with me. Um, we, I said to her, you know, I wonder, just out of curiosity, I love this beer so much, I just cannot get enough of it. How many do you reckon I could drink in one sitting? She said to me, I don't know, Ruku, you know, I, I don't, wouldn't advise it. She said, by all means you can. I'm not saying that you can't, you know, sit there and do whatever you want to do, but I'm just saying be careful. Did I listen? No. Um, typical man. Couldn't give a fuck. Just went out and I, I bought, I think I bought about 10 of these actually. And how many out of the 10 did I drink? It was nine. Nine out of 10. And fucking hell did I feel that the next day. I felt like utter shit. You know, I think I was on death's door by the time I finished drinking this. <laughs> I haven't done it since. Um, but I just wanted to see how many I could handle. Like, you know, I wanted to see how many would get me pissed or drunk, as it were. I wanted to see how many I could push my own body. How far could I push myself? And the answer was nine. Bearing in mind, these are 9% each, so they're not a pushover, these are strong stuff. And I thoroughly enjoyed it, but I paid the price the next day. 
if I recall, I, th I think I had um, Bald Lion Rim Spin. It was it was a very delayed reaction. We went from, hey, I feel pissed and jolly to, oh, starting to feel that. And then all of a sudden the room starts going, you just stand there, oh my god. Next minute you want to run to the toilet, but I'm a heavyweight, so I, and I can honestly put my hands up and say, I didn't chuck up, I didn't puke, I, I held it together. But uh, my head didn't the next day. My head was fucked. Felt like I'd gone, you know, 10 rounds with Mike Tyson, you know. Um, but I loved it that much, and I still come back to this bit even to this day. You know, I drank it probably 2010, 2009. No, 2009 was the last time I drank it, or when I first drank it. Sorry. And ever since then, I've just been addicted. I buy the bigger bottles, I buy the small bottles, any shape, shot, any shape, size, or form. Um, I will all basically take this on board, and I will drink it because I think that. The way that it's been brewed, you know, the the flavours, especially that roasted that roasted malt, just reminds me of sitting there maybe in a log cabin in Alaska, somewhere in the wilderness on the Arctic Circle with a nice roaring fire going, and I'm sitting there drinking one of these.